Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I will recap the movie named Babylon AD released in 2008. As Turab walks through a broken down country, there are tanks in the street and guns for sale every 10 feet. As he gets back to his apartment complex, he prepares himself a nice meal and sits down to eat before his front door gets blown away. As a squad of elite mercenaries enter, Turab recognizes the one behind him as Carl. Turab subdues Carl and kills him in front of all the other mercenaries. As he is escorted from what's left of his apartment, he is taken into an armored vehicle, where he meets Gorski, who wants to hire him. Turns out Gorski has a job that Torup can't refuse. A smuggling job taking a girl across the ocean to America. He can't get into America anymore, but Gorski has a way to smuggle him and the girl into the country. That's enough to pique Torup's interest. Torup and his car are dropped off just outside of a convent in the mountains, where sister Rebecca meets him and says that she must always stay with the girl and warns him not to use any foul language in front of her. As a counter, Torup lays down his only rule, don't f with me. As sister Rebecca walks back to bring the girl, Torup prepares the car for their journey. Once the girl named Aurora gets to the car, she asks questions about Torup. After telling her that they really shouldn't even bother talking, they get on their way. As Torup gets them to the train station, he parks the car and the three of them start to make their way through the crowd. In the marketplace, the cameras pick her up and we find out that her father is also looking for her. Eventually, they come across wild animals in cages and Aurora gets distracted. Once Turok gets her back, he ends up losing her in the crowd that's trying to get on the train, but as she runs away, she senses something. Suddenly, a bomb goes off in the train station, and they are free to head straight into the train. Once on the train, Aurora tries to find out more about the animals, and she finds out that they were clones since the species had gone extinct years ago. As they make it to an underground bar, Turok meets his friend Finn who is asking for help crossing the ocean, and Aurora and Rebecca continue to watch the cage fight that's going on. As they go to leave, a bunch of runners drop from everywhere and surround them. They offer him a million dollars in exchange for letting the girls go free with them. He ponders about it for a second, but ultimately, he chooses the job. As Turup and Rebecca fight the runners that keep coming out of nowhere, Aurora finds herself getting grabbed and carried into the arms of the cage fighter. As he caresses her skin, a peaceful look comes over him until Turup comes into the cage to talk him into letting Aurora go. When the announcer locks him in and starts the clock, the fighter attacks Turup. The men from before say that Aurora's father sent them to get her. As they run off with Aurora, Turup and Rebecca chase after them. Turup shoots one down and it is enough for Aurora to come over to him. The next morning, Turup, Rebecca, Aurora, and Finn gather on the ice to board the boat that will take them to North America. As they walk, they realize that not all of them are going to make it onto the boat. Knowing that it is a sub makes things a little different. There's only so much room and they only have so much time before satellites pick them up. As the sub begins to sink, Aurora watches as people drown and others are shot. Once Aurora goes down in the control room, she holds the crew at gunpoint to try and talk them into going back up to let more people on, but she is disarmed and becomes unconscious. Once things calm down, Rebecca explains how Aurora is like a daughter to her, and three months ago, everything seemed to change in her. Turop finds out that she is a complex being that is well beyond that of a normal human being. Once they leave the sub, the four of them end up speeding off on snowmobiles and drones come in to attack them. He ends up running his snowmobile into the last drone, and Finn has to come back to get him. Once they get there, Turup is unconscious. Finn has no patience for this and points a gun at them. But Turup shoots Finn and kills him. As they find shelter, Turup makes everyone food while Aurora sews up his wound. The three of them end up celebrating a little bit and relaxing around each other, but things shift as Aurora is scared that they will die in New York. Later that night, Aurora comes out and has a heart-to-heart -heart with Turup, and she asks why he's doing this for her. Turup replies that he has given up on his mercenary life and wants to go back to USA. Once they reach Canada, Turup cleans up and injects his new passport into his neck. When he turns around, he finds Aurora standing there and she almost kisses him when Rebecca comes in. After that, they successfully board the next flight to United States. Once they reach New York City, they see a whole different world than what they knew before. When Aurora watches the news in the apartment, she sees a disturbing sight. A missile has taken out a convent. It turns out that it was by a religious group that the high priestess is in charge of. Turup gets in touch with Gorski who explains that his job is almost done, and he just has to hand off the girl, but Torub is having a change of heart a little bit. He's beginning to realize that they have no intention of letting him or Sister Rebecca walk away free from all of this. It was a suicide mission from the start. The doctor arrives at the apartment and Rebecca lets him in to examine Aurora. Torup begins to suspect Rebecca knows more than she lets on, but she still refuses to share with him. Aurora reveals that she is pregnant with twins. Sister Rebecca doesn't even believe it because Aurora is still a virgin. Torup is then contacted by the High Priestess who says to simply deliver her to the car downstairs, but Aurora says that she'll die if he does that. 
Being a crossroads, Torop plays along as slowly as possible while trying to figure out an alternative. Just as Aurora goes to get in, Torop disarms the guard and starts a turf war in the middle of New York City. As they run for their lives, a missile is shot at them. It almost kills Torop. As war breaks out in the streets, Aurora makes her way down the road, taking on anyone that gets in her way. Eventually, Sister Rebecca gets shot point blank and Torop makes it to her. In her last words, she tells Torop to protect Aurora. Another missile is shot at them, but Aurora fires a bullet into Torop, making the missile miss him and become unconscious. At the religious order's headquarters, a high priestess finds out that Torop's dead body was taken out of the city. When Torop becomes conscious, he is at Aurora's father's facility. Aurora's father explains how she is from an AI supercomputer mother, and how he had lost her as a baby when Gorski stole her and hid her in the convent. Aurora's father believes that she is still alive and hid a message for Torop to follow, but he has to be dead again to see it. Naturally, he lets them run a simulation in which he is killed in his memory. In the last seconds before he dies, he sees that Aurora tells him to go home. Aurora's father tells Torup that the human race is weak and has not evolved, while Aurora is a superior, highly evolved race that cannot be killed by even a rocket, and her children will be even stronger. As they leave to find her, the High Priestess finds their hideout and asks Aurora's father where she is. As she stands face to face with her ex-husband, she takes a gun from one of the guards and shoots him herself. Turok goes home to a cabin that his family once owned, and when he goes inside, he finds Aurora curled up in the corner. Turok saves Aurora, and in the background, he explains to the viewers that Aurora was programmed as a breeding machine, and her only goal is to give birth. After that, she will die. In the hospital, a sad Turok says his final goodbyes to Aurora as the children are born and the credits roll. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more.